my infamous steak salad. So uh, we're going to start off by frying a little bit of bacon here. Alrighty, our bacon is ready. So we're going to get this out of the pan and over here to drain. We're also going to boil two eggs. All right, so now I've got about two cups of water in a bowl. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt in here. And then I've got a skinned eggplant that I'm gonna put over. I'm gonna dice this up and put it over into the water. Okay, so now that we've got our diced up eggplant into our salt water, I want to make sure that these stay submerged because I need for these to stay submerged for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to put another bowl in on top of it to kind of weight them down in the water so that they don't float to the top. And the reason I'm doing this is because eggplant, if you've ever cooked eggplant, is kind of has a bitter taste. The salt water will draw out the bitter of the eggplant. Now we're going to have our, I've got some grape tomatoes here. We're going to cut these in half. Okay, so that's done. Alrighty, so now it's time to go ahead and start putting our ingredients into our salad bowl. Here I've got some Italian, um, an Italian mix, which is ba basically radicchio and looks like some romaine lettuce and maybe another field green. So um, anyway, we're going to start with that. Okay, and I'm a, I'm a tomato freak, so I'm going to put a lot of tomatoes in mine. I've got two mini cucumbers that I'm going to cut up. All right, so now we're going to put our cucumbers in. And this salad is for three people, by the way. I should, I should have probably said that. I like a lot of cucumber in my salad, too. I like a lot of everything in my salad. Alrighty, so what we're left with here is some bacon grease. Now, I'm about to go crazy, and a lot of you guys are going to be like, what? No, don't do that. I'm going to do it anyway, because this is how I do it, and it turns out magnificent. Okay, I'm going to season my bacon grease. Sound crazy? Could be. She might be crazy or she might be on to something. We'll see. Okay, so that's, I got some powdered garlic. That was powdered garlic. Sorry, guys. There's that. This is all on a medium heat, by the way. There's some, I got some sweet basil. I'm about to make magic. Pay attention. Season salt. Onions, onion powder. And black pepper. If I can get it open. It's always this thing doesn't want to cooperate. Here we go. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to kind of stir this up just a little, just a smidge. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. When I tell y'all, this, I'm telling you it's a game changer. Pay attention. You're almost going to make almost like a roux to put your steak down into. Okay, so I put my steak down into there. And yes, I do wash my meat. I do not take it from package to, you know, uh, you always wash your meat. That's just, good, that's just good life advice, you know, always wash your meat. All right, so now we're going to let our steaks, our beautiful steaks cook for a little bit. And we'll be right back. So now I'm going to chop this bacon up and get this onto our salad. 
and our bacon. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. You can use turkey bacon too if you're, you know, if you're opposed to using pork products and just use turkey bacon. Throw on some mini peppers. Alrighty, so our steaks are done. So we're going to take these out of the pan and set them over here to rest. And we need to let them rest for about 10 minutes before we cut into it. Now, you guys see all of that? This is the good stuff, because here's what I'm about to do with that. All of my eggplant out of the water, the salt water, but I want to show you guys what the salt water looks like now. So that's what that looks like now. That's that bitterness that you taste that's been pulled out of it. Into the little pan seasoning, so we're going to add our eggplant. Now I've turned down the heat on this. And add just a little bit of water to this in just a second. Because, and I'm sorry I've got babies here now. Now we're going to put in our peppers and I've got a little bit of red onion to add in there too. Alright, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. Kind of get this dude going just a little bit. Not enough to boil the stuff, but just to kind of loosen up the seasoning from the bottom and get kind of get everything going good. So we're ready. We're going to take this out and put this into a bowl. All right, so now we're going to throw some avocado on there as well. And now we're going to get this sliced up and onto our salad. We're going to slice up our eggs and get it on there. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to top this with some of our eggplant mixture. Sorry for the noise in the background. Bean is in here with me going to town. Throw a little bit of feta cheese in there on top, just a little. And one more thing and we are done. All right, and now, last but not least, onion straws. The bomb! And that is our steak salad. What up? Greetings and salutations. Hello, 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 my gorgeous House of Spice. As you can see, today I have prepared for you my ever famous steak salad. And I don't want to dump this in the floor, so I'm just going to try to spin it around the best I can. Got a little bit of everything in here. So today we're going to get cracking because I'm hungry and it's lunchtime, it's 1230. I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm just having Aldi lemonade today. You guys, know, this is cold by the way, because you guys know I'm not crazy about ice. I'm just not, I'm sorry, I'm not. All right. All right, so let's do this, let's do it, let's do it. All right, without me dumping anything on the floor. Get this plated. Yes, buddy. Oh, I'm so glad that my husband is letting the baby cry right now. When I say like she never cries, so now is a fantastic time to let her cry. That's awesome. 
Ooh, look at all that steak in there. Trying to get a little bit of everything, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of avocado, cucumber, tomato. Yummy. And we can put this down and get it out of our way. But All right, I had to take a station identification pause for a moment because the baby was screaming her head off. Okay, so let me do a thumbnail. All right, then we're gonna put this down here because I don't want to end up with that in my lap. And I'm clumsy that way. So, you know, there that is. All right, let me scoot this back. Just a smidge. All right. And I've just got light raspberry vinaigrette to put on here because that's the best kind. Let's shake this up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. There we go. Put my drink back up here because I need my drink. Okay, I'm sorry. The wig is making my is making my nose itch, of course. All right, now looks this looks the bomb. So I kind of want a little bit of everything in the first bite, which is impossible because there's so much stuff in it. Avocado, a little bit of bacon. Look, a little bit of bacon. Okay, whatever. Anyway, first bite. Okay. I don't know if you guys can. Milk bangers don't tell you this, but like trying to eat up this high sometimes is a production. All right, first bite. That is a bomb. That is everything. The steak is seasoned perfectly. I know y'all were like, why did you just put it directly on the meat? It's different and I don't know how to tell you that it's different. Other than it is. It just is. And I did this medium. Well, I'm sorry, medium well. Because my daughter came in. She doesn't like hers. I like my medium. But she's like, could you please cook it a little bit longer? I know I'm going to have a salad today. I want some more eggplant and pepper, so I'm gonna, sorry guys. Yes. Eggplant, a little steak, cucumber if I can get it to stick, a pepper, if I can get that to stick, Nope, nope. Ah, here we go. The bomb. Mm, mm, mm. I 
I know y'all are like, eggplant? Fried eggplant? Fried eggplant, honey. Fried eggplant, honey, is where it's at. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mm. Then I just got a little hit of that bacon. And I want to tell you guys, I don't give a damn what the FDA says. Wash your meat. Wash your meat. I'm telling you, wash your meat. We hear emergency vehicles come through here all the time, and I'm in the front of the house. Yeah, so there's that. Anyway, I was saying... wash your meat you know that's why this coronavirus is going around that's why you guys are dealing with all kinds of weird illnesses and sicknesses and stuff you know washing your meat it's really a good like i said in the video it's just good practice it's a life lesson really always wash your meat can be applied several ways but And then bleach your area. You know, y'all putting a lot of faith. <laughs> into the people that work in these, you know, the slaughterhouses and the packing plants. You're putting a lot of faith in the people you don't know, have never seen, never talked to. You don't know how their day is going, what their what the history is, the background, how they feel about hand washing, none of that. How long they've been on the job? How many times the job they messed up their check? <laughs> Okay. This is for real. One of the best salads you will ever, 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 ever have. The only thing missing from this is garlic bread. The only thing that's missing. So, <clears throat> a 
another mukbanger was talking about, you know, ways that we can support one another. So I decided I'm going to support, I'm going to throw some love out to different mukbanger stations. Now I'm going to start with my inner circle. And then I'm going to work my way out into my other, out into my other, um, stations that subscribe to me and that comment, leave me comments, um, and not comments to say new subscribers subscribe back. No people that watch the videos that comment and interact on my videos. Happy to support. So Because what we are finding is that people that say that don't watch the videos and they subscribe and then they immediately unsubscribe once you subscribe to them. So, and I'm all about, you know, building relationships and I'll go watch your videos. I'll give you watch time, whatever, whatever, if we're interacting. So, first channel is going to be Tasty Foods. Tammy over there, Tasty Foods. Tammy! I say that on all her videos. So when I, whenever I comment, I'm like, Tammy! I don't know why. I love her name. Tammy, I think, is based out of Mississippi, I think. Anyway, I love her southern accent. And got a great, got some great content over there. It's like chatting with your cousin. Sitting down and having dinner time conversation with your cousin. So, mm hmm. I hope that the recipe part was quick enough for you guys. There was a lot of components that went into this. But like if I weren't filming, this wouldn't have taken this long. I feel like it was a really long video. We'll see. The bomb. The bomb. True story. So this was not the wig I was intending to wear today. I had a really pretty, it was like a seafoam green ombre wig. Kind of like that purple one that I wore in the mega seafood boil video. So pretty, so pretty. And can't find it. Have no clue what happened to it. 
things come and go around here. I have a three-year-old that has a passion for wigs, like I do. And I gave her one of my wigs so that she could be the queen of mean, that the descendants to the musical video. And honey, when I say she, she turned that wig into dreads in about 15 minutes, she wore that thing so much. She wore it to bed. She wore it when she got up. She was coming. We were going to the grocery store with it on. Yeah. And three-year-olds don't take care of wigs. Let's just, let's just be real. Let's just be real here. <clears throat> so, as she wants this wig so bad that she can taste it. Because it's multicolor. But I have another unicorn wig that I'm going to give her. Lou's going to be over a top like her grandma. I can tell that. She has a flair for the dramatic. Yep. Can y'all see my... Yep, you can. See my little wig cap. You saw what I had going on underneath here. You'd understand what is happening. Cause I was like, oh, you know what? I don't have to wear, I don't have to do my hair today. Cause we're still in the month of wigs and I might just keep this going. I don't know. I got enough wigs to last from now until the end of eternity. And what is it with me and not being able to, oh, I guess it, maybe I'm just looking at my forehead. That must be just my forehead. Maybe that's just the, oh. That's the actual wig. Yeah, the wig was $7. You can't expect perfection. You see that little piece right there, so. Can't expect perfection because I think the bang is supposed to go more like that. But that is irritating me. Pretty colors though. Some of my favorite colors, colors of the ocean. Anyhow, so until we meet again, I'm gonna try to do another video later on this afternoon, this evening, once Bean leaves, because Bean, it's about nap time for her. I gotta figure out, I gotta lay out something to cook tonight for dinner. I still have this salad here. Yeah, still got that. So I'm probably gonna have that tomorrow for lunch um, again. And I won't put you guys through watching me eat that again, but. <clears throat> so anyway, if you got some suggestions on what to eat. Oh, I know what I'm going to make. I'm going to make fettuccine Alfredo. Shrimp fettuccine Alfredo. That's what I'm going to make for you guys. And it's such a simple recipe. I'm surprised I don't make it. Cause I make my, um, my sauce from scratch, but I can, that's something really, really simple that I can do, um, a really quick video on because if you knew how easy and simple it was to make, I've got another video that I did probably about six months ago on it, but I'm, I actually did that on a live. So there's no editing and it turned out to be really long. Um, just cause I'm talking to the camera and stuff like that. So the recipe part of it turned out to be really long, but I'm going to do the recipe for the, for that. And then, and then do a mukbang with that. That sounds really good. All right. So on that note, I'm out of here. I have a little person to go tend to. So I love you guys. And until I see you, t until I, until I see you the next time. Oh, don't forget if you're here, you're here anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, you know, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Like I said, I like to get to know you guys because, you know, we are eating together after all. You know, I'm inviting you into my home and sharing a little conversation, a little dinner conversation with you. So uh, anyway, shoot me a comment because I do talk back. And like I said, help a sister out. I have a mission. I'm trying to get to 300 by not necessarily March 1st, but in March, I'm trying to get to 300 and I am 94 people away, 94 subscribers away. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Anyway, I love you guys. And on that note, I'll see you later. Alligator, peace out.